Hi, this video is about the SW update from service worker model and the work of SW update is it will give an option to the developer or to you so that you can check if there is any update in the server so that you will update the service worker or you, you can notify a user and you can do according to the requirement and we're going to see that. So let's jump into the video. Hi everyone, this is Subrat and you are watching Fun of Heuristics. So on this channel, you will get to know about the programming languages, the framework and all about the algorithm. So please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon if you haven't yet. In the previous video, we saw how we can use or how we can add the Angular PWA to our existing application and we saw a lot about the registration of the uh, service worker and how all happens. So, uh, and this video is the extension of that. So here we will use a service from service worker module that is SW update. And if you don't know what a service worker is and how you can add that to our Angular application. So I will highly suggest you please go ahead and watch that video, then come back to here so that it will make much sense. So I will add that in the card. So please watch that one. So coming to the video. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to check SW update. And by using some properties of SW update, you can notify your user that there is some update in your app. So please do that. So we are going to see that now. I will just remove the fun of heuristic exclamation mark. So you can check here the exclamation marks are there. And I'll just save it. So what we'll do is we need to kill the server. And, and if you haven't watched the previous uh, video then uh, or you don't know how it works, then you may ask, okay, why he is not running the ng sub? So I will suggest you please watch that video first. So a lot of things will be clear here. The application is built now, and I have started the server from the dist folder, and now we'll go to the server and we'll check, okay, it haven't changed. So you have to wait for a certain amount of time, and then you you refresh, then it the trigger will happen. Now you can see it just went away with some certain refreshes and this will be clear by implementing the SW update. As I told you SW update is from the service worker module. So here I will create a method that will call from the constructor or the ng on it. It's, it's fine uh, wherever you call update client. But before that we have to inject the SW update service to our component. And if you see here, it is from service worker. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. So we'll go here and we'll check here that the update means the SW update is enabled or not. That means your service worker is enabled or not. If that is enabled or we can do like this also, if this is not enabled, then we'll just uh, add a con console log message here that not enabled and will return from here. The SW update has three property uh, that is, uh, is enabled which we have already used and one is, is activated means activated and available. Okay, the available as the name says means updates are available and activated means update were available and it's already activated and it's pushed in the service worker means the changes have been done. So first I will use the available one and so we'll go to the this dot update and dot available means it saying that okay whenever that update is available notify me and its return type is a observable if you hover over here it's a observable of update available event so what you will do we will just subscribe that one and we'll catch we'll try to catch the event and I will log some value. So to log, so what we are logging here is we are logging the current uh, event and the available event. So whatever event we have now and whatever event is updated event present in the server. And that we'll see now. I'm calling this method from the constructor so that it will be initialized. All the observable will be active to listening to the server. We will add this code to our uh, server means to our service worker first. So uh, I will just kill the server here and we'll build the application again so that it will be registered here. So meanwhile, I, uh, I will try to explain you that this current event and the available event will give, a, give us a 
understanding of how uh, angular service uh, update main service worker update that is hw update is working or how how the service worker is de detecting the there is a update and i will show you that when once the build is done and i will go to the dist folder then i will start the server so here what we will do we will just refresh the page so that uh, our service worker will be get registered and uh, we'll get the value here so now this code is get registered in our service worker to get any update is available we have to change some values so so for for here to what i will do is i will write uh, a comma and we'll save this file and again we need to start the server as the build is finished so we'll start the server now we'll go to the uh, application and I will try to refresh the page just keep an eye on the console that some in some time we'll get a, a console log and that is about okay we got the console log here here you can see we are getting the this is a current hash which is running on and this is the new hash which is present okay so the service worker is checking these hashes and it's determining okay there are some new files now you need to update now if you hit refresh you will get the data now you don't have to refresh multiple times to get the data if you remember in the previous we have to refresh multiple times so because we are not knowing when the service worker is updating the result as i already told you we have three methods one is uh, available one is activate and another one is is enabled so we'll do the activate one And the activated event is also kind of work like same the what it will just not notify you is the what the hash value previously and what is the activator means the updated hash value here is and how it will trigger is once the service worker is updated and you will get once the thing is activated you will get this console log and sw update has two primary methods that is check for update and activate update so uh, the check for update is to check in the update that, and that we'll see a little later here we will use the activate update and we will call the activate update method inside the available because first we'll check okay the updates are available and when we got the update are available then we'll call the activate update so what we are doing here is we are asking the user that there is update in the app please confirm for that and if the user say yes then we are calling the activate update and it will return a promise of type void so we are just reloading the page so here you can do a lot of things you need to call a server or you need to reload the page or according to the requirement you can do it so most probably you have to reload the page because you got some static files to update so i will save this file here and we'll just go to the server again we have to build the application twice to make it affected because first this code need to be loaded to the service worker then we'll get the pop-up again so i'll just run it so i will load this code to the our browser then i will resume the video so that we can see the changes and the pop-up so i have reloaded the uh, browser and uh, the service worker is updated with the with our updated code so we'll go and change here the so what i will do i will just add some version here so we'll just go with the v2 and again we'll do the same like we'll close we'll kill the server then we have to build it again the application is built now and i have started the server now we'll go to the uh, our browser and try to refresh and we're going to see a pop-up sooner or later and we can update okay now you see and just keep an eye on the console here that we are getting we haven't got yet the activate uh, what to say the activate uh, activate log because uh, it's not activated yet it's now it's paused here means the execution is stopped here once i will press okay it just changed and got refreshed to show you i will just log here some value so we'll change something here i'll just change this to v3 and we'll save the uh, budget here and i have to build the application again to 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 check the changes the application is built and we'll start the server now i will go to the 
browser and try to hit refresh and we'll see the log in a bit and now you can see that we are we got the message called activated and here we are getting this is for the our uh, available data and this is for the activated data and if you if you compare and if you will check here we are getting the same data same has uh, in, in the both the logs so uh, what i did wrong is in the previous i have written current here so what i meant to say is our this current is the previous for the activated result and the available is the current for the activated result so that's the that's the reason both the hashes are uh, same here i'll just uh, hit the control z so that whenever there will be a change we can activate our uh, updates and we we'll reload the screen so that it will be visible to the user or if user can uh, use the updated app so if you remember i have told you that hw update has two methods one we used is activate update and one is check for update and the check for update is like checking for update so uh, so you, you can call it in a certain interval so what it will do is it will uh, keep on calling to the service worker to the server okay there is any update and you don't need to call the sw update and if you don't have that many changes uh, in your application anyhow whenever the user will open uh, the app or the uh, browser so i have shown you uh, by the browser and if i go to the app here you can see that we are getting the updated re result and uh, this will work same as it as it work in the browser here we will also going, going to get the pop-up if the user is opening that means you don't need to call sw update if uh, you don't have uh, that many changes in a day i guess so if the user is closing this app and opening it again that means it again will going to check for updates and it will it, it can activate the update by reloading the page and before using check for updates is something you need to keep in mind that it not just uh, start calling the check for update in the start of the application so what it will do is it it will prevent your service worker to be re re registered in the browser so for safety reason service worker will register only if the if the if your application is stable and that you also can check through each stable method from the application reference i will just create another method that is check update as i told you you don't need this uh, check for update that often but it's better to know so what we'll check here is uh, again we need to inject the application reference here so we'll go ahead and do that so application reference and this application reference will use here so as i told you in in the application reference we have a method or a property called each is stable again it's a observable of boolean type so uh, so you will get either true or a false so what i will do i will subscribe to that and we'll check here if it's stable so after we check that it it is stable means that your application is stable then we'll do this i am giving here 20 seconds but it's better to give a 6000 uh, means a six hour or eight hour time gap so that uh, it is not that frequently called to the server in that interval we are calling check for update and it will check the update so what the check for update will do is when it get got resolved then it will activate the available update so it will notify the available that okay you have the updates are available and in short in our code we will go and activate update and we'll try to reload the page and that we'll see now so what i will do is i will just save the page and we need to register this code to our browser so what i will do i will just build the code and i will try to refresh the page or it will auto auto refresh the page by checking the available update then after that i will come back here and i will show you what to do but for that i will skip skip the video till that point I have refreshed the browser now you can see here that we are uh, getting the interval calls from here that means this uh, our this block of code is already registered now we can check for any update so what i will do i will change some uh, code here and you can see this is keep on every 20 seconds calling so what i will do i will just go here and just make this as a v5 and we'll uh, kill the 
kill the server and we'll build the application again and we'll see that we, previously if you check we are refreshing the page but in this case we'll not do anything and for that sake what i will do is i will open the uh, our angular pw app here so it will be pretty clear here that that it will work on the app as well we'll wait till the uh, build is got finished now then i think it's about to finish so i will just start the server again so i uh, will go to the uh, file then we'll start the server now if you if you go to the browser here just check without anything in in case it's not a browser it, it's our app which intends a browser we got a prompt without refreshing and it was open in background so when i will hit refresh then you, you will got your response as v5 so and if you change something again and just rebuild you, the user need not need to refresh the page or user need not need to close and open the browser to get the updated change and that's what uh, the help of check for update and one more thing is the interval should be like here i have given for eight hour so it will be call in eight hours so you can make it three you can make it six or make it nine uh, according to you but don't hit on every 20 second that i just used to show you on in this video because we can't wait eight hours to to record the video so that's it for today guys today we saw how you can use SW update to notify the user or to refresh the page by checking the availability of update by uh, activating the update and inside that you can activate the update forcefully by reloading the page and also we saw that how you can check for update with certain intervals so that user, user also don't need to reload the page or user no need to uh, close the browser or reopen again or user don't need to close the app or reopen again for the case of PWA and the next video will be about the push notification so that will be pretty exciting so please hit the like button if you like in the video till now and please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you will not miss the push notification video and if you are liking my work and you want to support me you can support me on the patreon i'll give the link in the description below and please give some valuable comment in the comment section below and please do share this video among your friends family colleagues so that everybody can use the sw update or everybody can use the service worker and it's a very powerful api and we are going to meet in the next video till that stay happy bye bye